to someone else. But I do want to stress this. There's nothing you can do outside of killing the black women we have right now that will make any significant change in our society. Once we see the root of evil, which is the black woman, we have to cut her out. You can't chastise her. You can't punish her. You can't discuss anything with her because she's made it blatantly clear that she does not care about you or your well-being or what's best for you. She does not care about the rightness or the wrongness of anything. She just wants to win. She just wants what she wants. If the system isn't going to change, and it's not, if the female isn't going to change, and she's not, who needs to change? Us. We do. We've tried everything, and we failed. The only thing we haven't tried is violence, and we know that will actually succeed. Historically speaking, it's always been the case. When you read the Bible, what does it tell you to do? We got to wait for it to resume. I want you to hear all of it, so I'm not talking this time. Kill all the women. Take the younger females as your wives. That's how you rid the world of evil. That's how you control a population to the point where much of the evil within that population won't be passed down to the next generation. That evil doesn't pass from the father to the child. It passes from the mother to the child. And unfortunately, women create much of the environment that we're in. So all the negative things that we see in our environment, that came from this black woman. And what's awful, what's heart-wrenching, is that other races of women are starting to emulate the behavior of black American women. This can't be allowed to continue. If you care about making any kind of meaningful change, you got to consider killing this black woman. And don't do it in such a way as to prevent you from taking action. Don't wait for everyone to agree with you. There are times when you just have to be the first to do something, even though you might risk being the only one to do it, which I guarantee you will not be the only one killing black women, trust me. Those who've always done God's work, the creator's work maybe, those people have always been ostracized, never been the majority, they've always been the minority. They've always said the most unpopular things, even though those things were exactly what needed to be said. And in the end, they've always won. Are there going to be sacrifices and mortars and blah, blah, blah? Of course. Sure. But what side of history do you want to be on? Do you want to be on the side of history that empowered these hateful, evil black American women to do even more evil? Or do you want to be on the side of history that culled the herd of evildoers and brought order, sanity, and righteousness back to society. I know what side of history I want to be on. Even if I died the same day I started cleansing the land, I know what side of history I would be on. I did something good that needed to happen. Anyone that isn't going to kill a black woman is contributing to the destruction of our value system, of our society. They're contributing to the destruction of the next generation. When you refuse to kill black American women, you're saying yes to evil, yes to homosexuality and transgenderism being forced on children. You're saying yes to men being even more enslaved to women as well as the system. You're saying yes to further losses for our rights and freedoms. But back to what I was saying, I had to step away for a second. No one's going to spell it out for you like what I'm doing right now, because everyone wants to say what's politically correct. But you have to remember, women are the ones creating what's politically correct. Women are adverse to the truth. They don't believe in freedom of speech and they never have. So when you begin to tell the truth about our situation as men and about the deeds of women, women would do everything in their power to silence you. So you've never heard people speak like this openly. You've never heard anyone tell the truth about what we need to do to erase true evil from our society. There's no way around it. You can't lead women onto the path of righteousness. You have to take those who are truly evil and wicked, which is 
be a black American woman, and you have to chop their heads off. You have to remove them, and not with hate in your heart, but with the understanding that you're creating a better future for everyone. Imagine that, a whole generation of females brought up to respect men and not to try to destroy men. A generation of females who don't look at men as just a source of income or a slave of some sort. A generation of women who cannot and who would not dare to take what they did not work for. No more alimony chasers, no more child support chasers because such things will be deleted from our society as well. Just a bunch of women who understand in order to benefit, they have to contribute. They have a role in society that was decided by the creator himself. Go against that role, you will be deleted. That's a beautiful future, one where real families will exist. Loving mothers and loving fathers working together to raise children. Children having the benefit of an orderly society and family. Children that will reach heights that we can't reach ourselves in this lifetime because of the foundation we built for them. We can't have any of that if black women, black American women continue to live. None of that's ever going to exist. You'll never see another happy person, especially a happy boy or man, if black women continue to exist. You'll never eat at another quiet restaurant if black women continue to exist. You'll never be able to enjoy the pool at any establishment without hearing loud people if black women continue to exist. You'll never know what it's like to get along with strangers to speak openly about a problem without being attacked by a confrontational individual if black women continue to exist. Once black women are gone, at least these specific black women that we have here in America, all these good things can come and flow into our lives, into our society. Why don't black children smile the way they should? They're never happy. They're always uncertain of themselves, especially black boys. They feel guilty just for being male because they were raised by a black woman. And the only black males that thrive under the rule, the tyrannical, wicked rule of the single black mother is little homosexual black boys. They adopt the mannerisms, the mindset, and the same hatred for black men that they get from their mother. They adopt all these negative traits from their mother, completely destroying their manhood. As long as black women live, no good things will be allowed to flow. It's always going to be the very thing you need to do to fix society that society will work hard to hide from you. They don't want you entertaining ideas that you should use violence against the most wicked, evil people within our society, which is the black American woman. They want you to instead believe that the only way to change things is to kiss her feet and worship her, which is the only thing that we've been doing, period, anyway. Worshiping someone that looks down on you, that hates you so openly, will never change that person's perspective of you. All you're really doing is you're validating their opinion and their feelings towards you, making them feel like you deserve to be hated and pitied and looked down on. You deserve to be mistreated or abused in some way. Nothing will ever stop until you start killing people, specifically black women. Look at history. Whenever there was an oppressed group of people, those oppressed groups of people never got their freedom, never got any liberty until they started killing their oppressors. I hate to tell you this, but you should know by now that in today's society, our oppressors are female, specifically the black female. Many good things can happen in the future, but not until we delete her. I think that's the end of it. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, I think he showed where it came from. Let me go back. All right. So, this idiotic, mostly insane video came from a place called BitChute. I'm going to show y'all what the website looks like. 
Now, unfortunately, I was not able to find the original video, which is what I was desperately looking for. Because believe me, as soon as I found it, I was going to report that shit to the FBI. If y'all find it, send it to me if you don't want to do it. I will gladly report that shit to the FBI, okay? Any, any other videos that have this type of insane rhetoric trying to put the battery in the back of anyone to try to hurt black women. I'm not having it. I'm not for it. This is bull. And it needs to be stopped. And we are the women that can stop it. All you got to do is stand up and fight with that same energy that you fight for bum-ass black dudes when they get shot by cops and when they're doing the wrong thing in society and y'all feel like they need chance after chance after chance. These are those same black guys that you jump in the face of police for and etc. and be out here social justice warring for who are calling for every man to take your life away. So it makes the whole social justice warrior nonsense really stupider than it actually is. There'd be no way in the world I'd be outside championing for the rights of someone whose mentality is solely about taking my life from me. That is insanity, completely. So anyway, I'm still gonna continue to try to find this video because I so seriously wanna report that shit to the FBI. So if anybody finds it before me, please let me know. I can take my time and send it to them with all the information I feel they need in order to get this guy and everybody else subscribed to his page. So anyway, I wanted to let you hear that through its entirety. I apologize for the, the car alarms in my background. New York City, what can I tell you? And um, this is this really has got me pissed. It really does. And all I can say is, I feel sorry for the dude that tries it. I, oh my God, I really do. Because they have no idea the amount of hate that is building up in women for them. Especially inside of me. Like, I cannot stand these dudes. I don't want to talk to them. Stay away from me. Please go away. I don't want nothing to do with you. Not a damn thing. This the, Everything this dude said speaks to just how dumb they are as individuals. Like, everything wrong with society as a black woman. Now, you got to be an idiot to even form those words to come out of your mouth. Secondly, black children are not happy. Why not? They're not happy because the majority of them live in poverty caused by their impoverished goddamn father who terrorizes the household causes domestic violence, sexual assault on those very children that dude is talking about. And as far as all that stuff about women with the homosexuality and their sons, let me tell you something. That is the oldest myth in crock of shit going. Where people run around talking about how women cannot raise men. I've raised three. Okay? And none of them are homosexuals. None of them are out here beating on women. None of them are messing with children. And none of them are making dumbass videos like this. They actually love black women and children and love the fact that they have to uphold a certain level of responsibility and reliability that has been taught to them since yay high. That their job is to be a person, not a male, not a leader, not a, a overseer, but a person who loves other black people like themselves is responsible in society and knows that if you ever become a father which only one of my sons is you are to take that role as serious as possible because that child is dependent on you they have not grown up with any of this indoctrination or socialization of this bullshit that is taught on youtube or in general coming out of the barber shop and any other dysfunctional location that these Ned Duels hang out in but from a loving household where when I kicked their father's asses out of my house for being ignorant to a level that was so dysfunctional I could not take no more my children flourished 
under their absence. Be real clear, black women. All those things you hear women telling you about a piece of a nigga is better than none, a piece of a father is better than that's all bullshit. If a father, a male is detrimental to the household, he's that. He is just that. There's no other ways around it. Your children, you and everything else concerning your life will be better off once you get him the fuck out of there. So if he is harmful, he's no good, get him out of there. Period. Otherwise, you have idiots like this that make videos and who turn out to be those things that we were just listening to come out of those situations where you keep a demon in your house when he doesn't need to be there. Listen, I'm done with this right now. I'm going to show y'all this website so y'all can peruse it if you want to, to find other ignorance on your own. I actually have a problem with everybody like Peso, Nyla, and etc. who actually know where this video is and didn't just straight come out and let us know. This is the person who made the video. This is where I found the video. So that those of us that want to put an end to this shit and want the actual authorities to deal with these people that make videos like this so that this shit could stop and people can understand there's a consequence to this type of, of tomfoolery. I, 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 don't, I don't appreciate nor respect that they hide and gatekeep the information. They take the fact that too many of them need money off of YouTube so badly that they put the lives of black women and little girls at risk. I have no respect for that. Let me turn this camera around. Hopefully I can. I don't know if I can. I don't see the functioning. But I want to show you guys this this place called Bitchu. Hopefully. Is this the one that turns it around? No, it's not turning around. So let me stop it. I'm gonna splice splice the video on here and let you see where this this came from. I couldn't find it, but you can go on here and look. So this is Bitchu, right? And this is the type of stuff that is on Bitchu. Now, let me just show you what happens when I type in black women. What happened? Why didn't it come up? Here's some more of this stupidity. But you have to sign in. And so I tried to set up an account. But I didn't verify it yet. So that's maybe why I can't get a lot of stuff. But look at the type of ignorance that's on here. Alright. So this is what you need to know. About this stupidity. Let me go back to trending. Alright. So, like I said, if you can find anything about this trashy um, website, here it is, right? Let me know. And if you find that video, great. I'm going to keep searching for it. Just wanted to inform you.